You know the vibes! Welcome to another episode of the Hoop Genius Podcast, brought to you by NBA 2K23. <laughs> Myself, Mo Bootsy, alongside me as always, the one, the only, Mr. BJ Armstrong. BJ, how you doing? I don't even, I don't even recognize you, Mo. Like, you're smiling. <laughs> the energy. Like, I mean, it's been like, you know, it's just like, been. it's been a traumatic experience for you for the last three games. So, and all of a sudden, what happened? What should, happened today? Should, like, should I tell you how my day went today? I Sure, um, please. You know, so I went to bed last night after the game. We finished the podcast about 7 o'clock, edited the show, whatnot. It was 8 a.m. Had a little breakfast, did a little bit more work. I, w- I went to bed at 9 a.m., right? And mm-hmm. then my next-door neighbor decided to have a tree cut down in front of the house. So okay. for the next six hours, there was uh, saws and drills going off, and I could not sleep for the entirety okay. of the day. Um, so I kind of just did nothing, just acting like a zombie. And then I went to bed at 3 p.m. And I slept okay. the entire day thinking, well, Miami will win tonight, and then we're going to have a week off anyway, so it doesn't matter. But here we are. The Celtics win game number four to keep their season alive. 116 to 99. In Miami, they take the W, the series heads back to Boston on Thursday night. And um, it's simple maths, BJ. It's simple maths. When the Celtics... Okay, what's the, what's the math? Give me well, the math. Give me the math. So bro. remember last year when I told you the Celtics are a simple team. If they have more than 14 turnovers, <laughs> they lose. If they have less than 14, they win. This year, here's the math. When the Celtics shoot more threes than their opponent and shoot at 40% or better, they will win the game tonight. They shot 45 threes in comparison to Miami's 32. Celtics shot 40% and the Heat shot 25%. It's a simple math equation. That's how the Celtics have played all season. It's how they've played all postseason. It might win you a game. It might win you two games. I don't think it's going to win you a place in the NBA Finals, but the series continues. BJ, what did you see in tonight's game to uh, take away from it? Do the Celtics have a hope or was this just a consolation win? Well, you know, it... it you know, I, I know everyone wants to get to the math, right? You know what I mean? The, the math of the game and all those things. Listen, when you make shots in this league, it gives you a chance. When you defend in this league, it gives you a chance, okay? And that's all it, that's all it comes down to. You, you got to defend, you got to rebound, and you have to share the basketball, okay? You know, you, you know when, you te- when you keep the other team under... 45% or less, okay? That means half of your possessions you'll get out out in transition, right? Yep. You're 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 if you want to control the other teams <laughs> I don't know, maybe I'm just making the game so simple. When you make shots, Mo, that means you get a chance to play 5 against 5 on 5 defense. Theoretically, you should have a better chance to defend the other team. Right. Yeah. I don't know what they shot from three, but they made enough threes. They probably made over 12 or so threes tonight or whatever they made. Who, who Boston or Miami? Boston. Boston. Yeah, they made it. Miami, they were often. Okay. So when you make threes, suddenly now you're playing five on five defense. So your best defense is always your offensive execution. Mm-hmm. My offense should be my defense because I'm playing advantage basketball. So if half of my possessions are on turnovers or missed shots or whatever, I should be able to play in transition, right? If you watch it, like yesterday, I was watching the, the Denver Nuggets. Clearly, they've made a, a commitment to playing in transition. Tonight, I was most impressed with the defensive effort that yep. those guys were playing with. Yep, they That's finally it, they finally decided to play defense. It, 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 okay, and, and it's amazing to me, if you want to shoot threes, well, if you, you want to shoot threes, I want to shoot threes, right? It makes sense to me. Threes are worth more than two. That makes sense to me. What doesn't make sense to me is to shoot threes that are contested threes versus Mm -hmm. five on five defense when you're taking the ball out of the basket on the other end. Mm -hmm. So tonight, I just thought that the energy and the effort was terrific on the defensive end. They played well. I mean, they came out in the second half. And they really did a very nice job. And it's nice to get a win, right? Now they got one. Okay, now they got one. So I'm going to stick to what I said at the beginning of this series. I thought the Celtics would win this series. However, 
we're I'm 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 it's like we're going to be the first one to do it. Right. They're like, oh, and 100 and something. But I still believe that the Celtics, if they play the right way on the defensive end. That their talent will eventually win the game, however, easier said than done. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Well, they finally decided to play defense like we know they can. And, um, you know, it's interesting. It's effort and all of those kind of things. But you saw what it did. They managed to get out in transition and attack and get easier opportunities, like you said, than it is against a set defense. And uh, good things happen when you play defense, amazingly. Who would have thought, BJ? Who would have thought that when you play defense, <laughs> the game becomes a lot easier? I don't know. It took them four I, games to figure it out. Well, well, that's what I'm saying. Well, it's not, Mo. Like, that's why I'm always amazed is because we... We love to make these analyses. Oh, but this is the play of the game. This is, no, it's real simple. It's real simple. A masterful third quarter was all triggered by their def all triggered by their defense. When you can defend and shoot open shots in transition and shoot open shots when you get off of steals and turnovers and all those things, Mo, it's amazing how easier the game is. These guys are really good. This guy, Eric Spolstra, is phenomenal when he can match up with you five versus five. The guy is just, he's an incredible coach. However, no one can make adjustments when you're scrambling. Mm -hmm. And give, give the Celtics credit. The, the C's, now, I think the place will be rocking in Boston. I'll be shocked if they don't win that game. Like, if, I'll be shocked if they don't win game five. Well, they've been horrendous at home, so I wouldn't be too shocked. Yeah, yeah but, I, but but now it's a different type of home because now this is it'll be a different type of crowd. The the, the true Celtic fans are going to come out. The true Celtic ones, like you know, the people who are going to stick with them. Game seven, however, is is any is anyone. Game five, if they if they win this one, Mo. I I I I still believe that they have the better team. I still believe that. However. They haven't shown it, but they did. They they showed you tonight. Like yeah. tonight, I'm a little the, concerned. The 18 and 0 run in the third quarter showed you what the Celtics can do when they're locked in. Dude, that's what, Mo, that's what I'm saying. They're down 0 3, but very rarely, Mo. How many teams can be down 0 3 and then have an 18 0 run? Like Mo, that's a so they're underperforming right now, Mo. But maybe it just took them three games. Maybe this team, Mo, has to go to. The, they're the they're the, the group of kids who you say don't touch the fire and they're like okay and then they're gonna do it uh, and then they, they finally said okay it's hot it's me <laughs> yeah <laughs> maybe they're just that group <laughs> maybe you know you know, you know when you you know when you go to a restaurant and then they they bring the food to, and they bring it on a hot plate and they tell you don't touch the it's plate it's hot that's it like, and every yeah. time I'm putting my hand on the <laughs> yeah maybe they're just mo then maybe just, this is I why just mo have to make sure. Here. Yeah, exactly. And maybe, maybe this is the group that comes back because I'm telling you, it's it, this isn't a talent issue. Well, this is just an execution issue with them. Like, mm -hmm. and I'm not taking away anything from Miami. Miami deserves to be up 3-0. They, they deserve, you know, they didn't play well tonight. But this team right here, the Celtics, this is a good group. All right. And, and you know what I you know what I learned about them is, Mo, like you don't get to the conference finals and not have some type of pride and not have some type of character. That's the one thing I have learned. OK, and and very rarely do you get here and all of a sudden you just throw it all away. Like, you know what I mean? Like the mm -hmm. other team has to beat you. They, Mo, they had every reason tonight to just come out and say it's over. Yeah. They had every read. I mean, Mo, after game three's performance. And and early I mean, on, it kind of looked like that. I mean, I was watching this well, game. I was like, oh, God. Well, Mo, Mo, I can't imagine. I've never been down 0-3, so I don't know. I can't imagine what the pressure is, Mo, when you know you should, it, you should be at least one, one game by now and know the pressure that these people had to play with today. Okay, I can't imagine what that felt like for them. But... I'm going to give them credit for those young men to stay in the fight and get a win tonight says a lot about 
the character of that team. Now, I think Miami knows this because it's not over. The hardest game is to win the final game. Mm-hmm. And now that they have won, guess what they can get now with the next win, Mo? Two. <laughs> okay? Mm-hmm. And Mo, if they win another game, a, a series is there. It's, it, playing in a series is a weird thing because anything can change the series. Like a possession, a quarter, a game, a call, a no call can change a series. A made shot, a missed shot, a steal. And Mo, if they get a second win now, now Mo, it's it's it's, it's a different game. Well, Marcus, I Smart think it's a different and, game. And now. these guys this morning before the game said, "Don't let us get one." Well, that's what I'm saying. Because you get one, Mo. It, it, it's only one, Mo. You know how you start a streak, Mo? Get one. Yeah, you got to start at one. <laughs> you got to get well, one. <laughs> interestingly, for the Heat, uncharacteristically, they had a playoff high 16 turnovers or playoff in, in the last two rounds. They had 16 turnovers in this game, which is something that we don't usually see for the Miami Heat. Um, and this was their worst shooting game since, what was it, game three against the Knicks? Um So it's interesting. Do you think that the Heat change anything going into the next game? Or do you think they just chalk it up to, we turned the ball over too much and didn't shoot well enough on the offensive end? Okay, here's the deal. Here's the deal, Mo. I'm going to say this on air because I say this to you all the time. When you start a series, you have to prepare for seven games. Yep. (laughs) Okay. Now, let me tell you, fortunately, I've played against the true master over there, which is Pat Riley. Like, that's the the OG master, okay? Mm -hmm. Being up 3-0 in a series means nothing. Why? Because you got to finish it. That's the hardest game. So the Heat, at the beginning of this series, I can guarantee you with absolute certainty, they are prepared to go seven games. They're prepared to do whatever is necessary to win. Is this a nice position? Was this a nice position to be in up 3-0? Yes. You don't get to the conference finals mode with some type of pride or character. If you can get past your pride, if you can get past your character, meaning you recognize what needs to happen to win, and have patience and execute and discipline and all those things, then Mo, you get to the talent. If this get if this series comes down to the talent, the Boston Celtics will win this series. And Gabe Vincent turned his ankle in this one, which is another concern yes. for the Miami Heat. If it if it comes down to talent, Mo, the Boston Celtics will win this series. However, Mo, the pride that was needed to win game three, Mo, we all question. Deservingly so. Yep. These kids are amazing. Kids are amazing to me is because they're so resilient. As an adult, you're like, oh, it's over. So mm-hmm. it's, they, have no, they have no chance. Yeah, because if this, this was a few years ago, I would have been like, no, we're going to win in seven games. But I was watching it. Yes. And I'm like, oh, we're, we're finished. That, <laughs> that's, that's how why, I know I'm old now. <laughs> yeah, that, exactly. Okay, imagine now at my age huh, what it feels like, Mo. It's awful because you're like, oh, it's over. It's up 3-0. But the kids, someone forgot to tell the kids that it's over. Mm-hmm. So give those kids, because even in defeat, Mo, and the way they lost, they still had the energy. And, you know, you say you, you got to go to the well and go dig d- deep for us. Well, Mo, wow. Like, these young people... Showed you why you play sport. Like today was like, man, this team, there's something in them. There's something in them. Did Jimmy Butler look tired to you today? Well, Mo, as the series goes on every other day, it's hard. Mo, I I, I say this all the time, and I I know I'm just saying it because I'm old. Mo, playing in the NBA is hard. It's not like some video game. It's like, Mo, this guy, we're asking this guy to do these superhuman efforts time and time and time again. Well, Mo, at some point here, like 
you run out. You you run out of steam. I mean, Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown, if they keep playing at this pace and the rest of the team, Mo, he can't guard everybody. Mm -hmm. And Mo, they're running out of healthy bodies. The, the the game that really shook me is the game. I think it was game two they won up in Boston. Two of their two of their players, their rotational players, didn't even score, and they only played seven guys: Kyle mm-hmm. Lowry and Kevin Love. And I I mentioned that to you. I was like, they beat them literally with five players scoring. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I was like, whoa, whoa, that's like almost impossible. Like no one said anything about it. But think about that, Mo. The, the Miami Heat are going to come and play on the road and only five players are going to score and they're going to win the game. You'd be like, there's no way. There's no way they lose. You're talking about the Celtics. They're deep. Six man of the year. Da, 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 da. And they did it. I was like, wow. That, that that's So at some point here, they're going to have to play. Do I think Jimmy Butler has another game? Yes. Now that I do. When I say another game. Do I think he has another winning performance? Yes, I do. Yeah. Yeah, yes, I do. Now, Absolutely. That, now when is it going to happen? I think Jimmy Butler is not going to waste that experience because what you don't want to do, Mo, is for Jimmy Butler to have a 35 or 40. See, I think he'll game. do that in game five. Well, if they can withstand it, because what did he have tonight? 29, 30? He had, what did he he had tonight? 29 points tonight. 29 okay. points, nine rebounds, and five assists. Team high. Jimmy Butler's going to have to have 40. For them to win, if they if they're able to withstand his forty point effort, okay, I'll give you even a better one. I think how you play against the Miami Heat is Jimmy gets his, mm-hmm. but the other guys, I'm shutting them down. Now, that's what I'm doing because Mo, they don't have enough healthy bodies. I'm just convinced, but that's just me. I, I I'm looking at it going. If Jimmy Butler starts distributing the basketball and Bam starts getting seven, eight assists, and this guy gets eight and nine assists, Jimmy Butler, and they start attacking inside and outside, and Jimmy makes a couple threes, and then they start moving that ball around, and Caleb starts shooting, and then this guy, now I'm all they're tough to beat. My mm-hmm. thing is just let Jimmy do Jimmy, you do you. Everyone else, we're shutting down. The role, the, the role guys, no, we're, we're we're shutting that guy those down. Now, force Jimmy to score. And that, to me, I mean, I think the, the Celtics make a, make a decision. What you're going to do, like, it's just, it's like when you play against the Joker. Are you going to, are you going to just take away his ability to pass or are you going to take away his ability to score? Either way, he's going to affect the game. That's why he's so good. So, but we'll see. I, I'm excited for game five. I really am. I'm excited for the series. I think now it's a series. I think now it's a fight. And it'd be interesting to see what happens. I, and I think the Celtics, I think the Celtics now are in a position where you're saying, hmm, I'm going to really watch. I'm going to I'm going to watch now. Because if they win game two, if they win game five, Mo, and they get two wins, wow, game six, that's. That's game seven for Miami. You gotta close that out because if the Celtics win three in a row, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Well, I'm getting ahead of myself because look, I, I've been down. I, I Mo, I, I they 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 had us down. Like Mo, you're down 0 three. So at this point, what do you have to lose now? You're down 0 three, Mo. Mm-hmm. You're down 0 three. So I, I I gotta talk my I gotta talk my trash now because Mo, I don't have anything else to hold on to. Like, you know, you pick you pick a team to win or you think you're going to win or you think something, and then all of a sudden, you you know, the only one was right in this was you. I mean, you pick you pick Miami, what, in six? six five? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, six. So here we go. I mean, like I said, you know, I... I, I it, it's, it's... I'm really intrigued. And it was a great game. They made shots. I don't expect them to shoot this well for the entirety of the series, but tonight was their night. Yeah. Well, um, you know, one thing we didn't get a chance to speak about because it kind of happened while we were recording yesterday's episode after the Nuggets swept away the Lakers. LeBron James pondering retirement. Is that anything actually really going to happen or is it just a way for him to deflect the news headlines away from him being swept and onto him being retired? 
because I personally don't see it happening. And even if he does, I guess he takes the year off, comes back the year after and signs with whichever team drafts his son. What were your thoughts on his comments after the last game? Well, you know, Mo, I, I, you know, I, I came in at, at a different time, right? And there were three things, right? And, and I, and then you got to protect your shield, right? The shield, the shield of this business that we've all, ent- we've all willingly entered into, right? You know, when I came into the NBA, there was three things that I learned very quickly, right? I got to protect the partner that we, the partnership that you have, which is your partners with the league your partners with the organization that you play for and your partners with your teammates, yourself. Okay, those, are, those are the three things. I don't want to take away from the magical performance that the Denver Nuggets had. This is always about basketball. Yep. I joke with you all the time about let's stay on the court. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. I, I joke it. I joke, but I'm not really joking. I'm I'm not going to, I got to talk all summer. You and I got to talk all summer about everything that's happening off the court because (laughs) that's it. Okay. I'm going to give my comments about that in the summer. If you guys still care right now, I want to talk about Jamal Murray. Wow. I want to talk about Jokic, Caldwell Pope. If, if If you're the Nuggets then, who would you rather play? The Celtics or the Heat? Mo, when you get to this point, it doesn't matter. Like, Mo, you want to be the best. If you have that attitude, Mo, it's impossible for you to win. Mm -hmm. If you want to be the best, you got to take the, you got to go beat the best. Absolutely. Whoever's the best coming out of there, like, like if you truly saying, Mo, you don't, like there's some teams you know are just happy to win. Then there's some teams that are saying, well, we got a chance to win the final game of the season. Different mentality. Mm-hmm. Follow what I'm saying? Yeah. Mo, there's some teams who are happy just to get to the dance, and then there's some people who are there like, I'm playing here with a purpose. Now, I think this Denver Nuggets team all year, they've displayed this type of attitude that they're saying, we feel we have a chance. Yeah, and we're and Mike Mellon reminds them after every game, we've got a bigger goal. We've got a bigger goal at hand. Yeah. So I, I, I don't think they care. Why should they care? If they play their brand of basketball, Mo, listen, Jokic right now is playing the game. I mean, Mo, I, I think the guy's unstoppable right now. Mm-hmm. Okay, it doesn't matter. I, I, I you know. No disrespect to Boston's bigs. No disrespect to Miami's bigs. I don't care what they do. Joker is going to get his. Mm-hmm. Okay? It doesn't matter. <laughs> now, do I think it matters for the other teams? Do they, would they rather play against Joker or AD? Yeah, I'm sure they all would say AD. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay? Or Tristan no disrespect Thompson. to AD or Tristan Thompson. You know what I mean? <laughs> okay. But I don't think anybody said, yeah, man, give, give me Joker. For seven games. No, I way. don't think so. Joker, right now, to me, he's the X factor in all of this. Okay, he's the X factor. And I don't think it really matters to them, but they've played this way all year. And 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 now in looking back on it, I think we all slept on them a little bit. Well, some of us, myself. I'm 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 putting myself in there. I thought they were good. You know, I, I kept saying, you know, I thought some things they could, you know, some things that maybe you know that you could exploit with them but you know what i give those guys credit they've um they 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 they're playing together they play a nice brand of basketball jamal murray and joker yeah we could talk about offensively but i'm more impressed with them i saw them live the effort that those guys were playing with defensively and think about this jamal murray made probably the biggest defensive play Defensive yep. play on that final shot game. Where LeBron was trying to take. Okay. So, so Mo, like, all right. They, that play Jamal Murray doesn't make two or three years ago. Yeah. Before the injury. Yeah. Okay. That, that he, but now he makes that play because he's addressing the things that we all saw. So, you know what? I applaud that. I applaud players who work on their game and work on their craft. That's why they call it professional sports. So, 
I, I, I love how they play. I give them credit. They're taking on the challenge. And 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 and, and listen, Joker. I mean, what, what are you gonna say? Like, wait, this guy takes big shots. This guy is your five man who's pushing the break. Yep. <laughs> I mean, Mo, like, come on, like, what's the defense for that? Like, the guy passes. I mean, I mean, he, he's just a he's a he's an amazing player, and all of those guys are playing at a high clip. I mean, Aaron Gordon. So I I, yeah. I I I don't think it really matters for them. Well, the West is wrapped up, so there's no game tonight, so we won't have an episode. Um, so let's give you a little preview of Game Five between the Celtics and the Heat. The key, I think, for the Heat is going to be running the Celtics off the three point line because the Celtics are seven and one when they make over 15 threes and zero and six when they make less. So not having sixteen turnovers and and not turning the ball over like that, allowing the Celtics to get out of transition and run and get easy baskets, find their rhythm get home from downtown. That's really the key. But what are your what are your key points of emphasis you're looking at from a Miami perspective going into game number five with the chance to close it out on the road? Well, here's the thing. Miami has had a, a great game plan. And their game plan was, is to say the following. We're going to take away the identity of this team, which is to shoot and make threes. If the Miami Heat can contain that aspect of the game I don't know what the counter is for the Boston Celtics to win the game they haven't shown me that they have a counter to when they don't make threes right so imagine being a jump shooter and if your jumper's not working that night you don't have a counter that's how I feel the Celtics have played throughout the series with the exception of tonight like if you're going to win the game you got to win the game in whatever way the game dictates that you got to win it can they grind the game out? Well, they haven't shown the ability. I think they can do it, but they haven't shown the ability to do it. Can they win the game without making threes? Can they win the game by just making twos and shooting a high percentage from two? I know what they wanted to do. I know how they were, I know their preference. But what happens if the other team mode doesn't allow you to do it? What do you do? Mm -hmm. Right? So we run play x and if i can't run play x what do you do you call a timeout and say coach they won't let me do it what do you do you got to find another way to get brave it of you to assume that they'll call a timeout <laughs> okay <laughs> okay so again the the mark of a good team is you're going to take away the first and second option for whatever reason miami didn't do that tonight but they've done overall three out of the four games they've done that so we will see what will happen and we'll see if the Celtics can counter that because Coach Spolster, I, I, I don't know what he said in that locker room, but I can bet he can say, hey, guys, what did I tell you? Mm -hmm. They can't beat us making twos. Imagine, Mo, that's your only thing you're saying to your team. If they can't beat us making twos. It's facts. It's facts because okay. we've seen it three times now. They're, 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 yeah. So there's nothing else to talk about if you're in the Miami locker room. Okay, guys, they made what? How many did you say they made? 18? Is that what yep. you said? 18. They made 18. They made three tonight. This is what we this is what we've been harping for. Uh, all right. This is what we've been harping for the first four games. Three times you've done it, we've won the games. Guys, get your rest. Let's get back. Let's go up there and let's defend the three-point line and force them to make twos and see if Boston has a counter for playing a different brand of basketball that won't allow them to shoot threes. That, that Mo, that it's it's yep. simple. It's so simple watching this series. That's why it's amazing to me. I'm going, wow, th this team really has no counter to play another style other than just hoisting up threes. Yep. Mo, I was concerned in the first half because they were hoisting up threes, Mo, on the first pass. Yep. They've been doing it all series long. They don't. Get the best shot. They just now, get the first they shot. made them tonight. At Mo, when you make shots, it changes the game. But if you think you're going to win a steady diet of Al Horford shooting threes on the first pass <laughs> in your offense in the playoffs, he's I'm, been I'm horrendous from that. three so far. But he hit three of six tonight. Derek well, White was Mo, three of seven. Jason Tatum four of nine. Marcus Smart hit three big ones down the stretch. Grant Williams four of six. So we'll see if they can replicate that, but. I'm not holding out. That's what I'm saying. I, that's what I'm saying. I, I, that's what I'm saying. Mo, it's 
It's it's clear to me what it is. Now, you got to go out there and do it. And Miami, they know they know the task. They know what they got to do. And you know what? So far, they've done the job with the exception of tonight. But you know what? They they if you told them after four games they were going to be up 3-1, they take yep. that 100% of the time. 100%. So, we'll see. We'll see. We'll be here after game number four, game number five even. And um, stay locked into the Hoop Genius Podcast. Subscribe. All platforms, YouTube, Spotify, Apple, wherever you get your podcasts. You know the vibes. Subscribe to right, it. Mo, this, normally, this means peace, Mo. I just hold up. Man. That's all I'm holding. I'm just going one at a time. Bro. <laughs> hey, you got to get one to get two, and you got to get two to get three. And once you got three, may the best man win. We'll see you guys in the next one. Until next time, get buckets.